Hey guys, what's up? So it is well known at this point that Samsung will launch two new foldables in the smartphone market, the Z Fold 3 and the Z Flip 3. Up until now, we did not have a lot of information about these two phones, but now a major leak has given us some more details about the two new handsets. So for the Z Fold 3, Samsung has opted for a slightly different design compared to the S21 series or the Fold 2. The contour cut of the S21 series hasn't made its way to the foldable, which may be a good thing as it gives the foldable a distinct look. These images seem to be taken from the official marketing material that Samsung prepares for its devices. So these are as legit as they can get before the launch of the phone. Now looking at the images, I don't see a camera on the inner display at all. What that means is that Samsung may have prepared the under display camera technology to be used in their most expensive phone. Samsung has been working on this technology for quite a while now and it has been rumored several times before as well. So it seems like it will finally happen on the Z Fold 3. The much hyped S Pen support has also been confirmed by these images. Although there won't be a place to show the S Pen in the phone itself, Samsung will be selling a case for that, similar to the S21 Ultra. The hybrid S Pen won't have a fine tip this time around so that the foldable display doesn't get damaged. The internal display won't scratch as easily as Samsung has added a new armor to the display, hinge and bezel that we have talked about in previous videos. The outside will be wrapped in Gorilla Glass Victus for improved durability and we've already seen how good Gorilla Glass Victus is against drops. The Z Fold 3 will feature a glass and metal body just like the predecessor with a triple camera setup at the rear. The vertically placed cameras are expected to be a 12 megapixel primary, 12 megapixel ultra wide, and 3x telephoto camera, and won't feature the 108 megapixel sensor from the S21 Ultra again. Samsung may have decided to refrain the phone from getting the best camera hardware, and I think the cost can be one of the factors forcing Samsung to take this decision. Apart from these three, there will also be a 10 megapixel camera in the front cover display and a 16 megapixel camera under the main display. Now, when Samsung launched the Z Fold 2 last year with a 120Hz refresh rate for the main display, but left the outer display at 60Hz, a lot of folks didn't like it and demanded Samsung to offer 120Hz on both the screens. Seems like Samsung will be granting their wish as it is expected that even the cover display will have a 120Hz refresh rate this time around. Moving on to the other foldable phone, the Z Flip 3. So we can see a slight design change here as well with a bigger cover display. It is being reported that the cover display has been increased in size to 1.83 inches from the 1.1 inches on the previous model which will make it easier to interact with notifications and control music playback etc on the outer display. The phone gets a dual tone design that blends in with the cover display although even here we can only see a dual camera setup. The inner display will remain at 6.7 inches however like the Z Fold 3 even this will have a 120Hz refresh rate this time around. We have already discussed the battery capacity of the Z Fold 3 which will feature a 4380 mAh capacity, 100 mAh less than the Z Fold 2. The Z Flip 3 won't see a jump in battery capacity either as the phone recently passed through 3C certification and the dual batteries are rated at 3300 mAh. Also the phone is expected to get a 15W charging support and we are not sure if Samsung will ship these new phones with a charger inside the box as you already know that the S21 series shipped with no charger or accessories in the retail box. Anyway, Samsung has now started using batteries from China's Amperex technology, mostly to reduce costs and diversify the supply chain. Talking about the price, so according to Twitter leaker that previously said that Samsung may launch the Z Flip 3 for a mouth-watering $999 or $1199 has now disregarded that as a rumor and Samsung may be preparing to price these phones at the same levels as the previous versions. So that's it for this video. Do tell me what do you think about the designs of the Z Fold 3 and the Z Flip 3 in the comments section. I think Samsung has done a good job with the design and features of both these phones as they will be the first foldable phones to be water and dust resistance. The cameras are the only things which aren't top notch in terms of the hardware but I think in a couple of iterations even that would be sorted as the prices of the components needed to make a foldable phone will come down. So smash the like button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos. I will see you all in the next one. Till then, bye bye and stay safe.